Welcome to our mounting pot, episode two. My name is Jason Trinkle. And I'm Jolinda Trinkle. Today we're gonna make for you guys arancini with a spinach, basil, Calabrian chili dipping sauce. If you're not liking this, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> hit the like button and hit subscribe. Yeah. Okay, everybody, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some risotto. And this is a very simple risotto. First, you gotta have a borio rice. And you can get this at any supermarket. It's good rice and it's used for risotto. So the first thing we need is some olive oil. About four tablespoons of olive oil in here. We're gonna saute some onion up. Okay, so. First, I'm gonna get we'll the rest it, of this in here. Yeah, okay. Olive oil is pretty warm. So we'll go ahead and saute oh, that up. White bit. onions, okay. Ooh. Crack a light. We just want to get these a little translucent. Mm -hmm. Just a white onion that we chop. Finally chop it. You don't want big chunks of onion in there. These will kind of reduce down. Yes. All right, those onions are starting to sweat now. That's kind of what you want to start seeing. Breaking down just a little bit, getting soft. Now we're going to add in the rice, and we're going to toast this rice up. Move that rice around. You want it to get the rice the, uh, to get translucent, so you can almost kind of see through it. We'll give this a minute or two to toast up. Now I can cut. Okay. Need one cup of white wine. Doesn't matter what kind of white wine you use. I wouldn't use a Moscato, that'd be way too sweet. Uh, this is a Pinot Grigio. I don't drink wine, I just use it for cooking. You hear that? And then honey, could you do me a favor and grab me a ladle for yes. the chicken broth? Yes. So we're gonna let this wine soak into the rice until it's almost completely soaked into the rice. And then we're, little by little, we're gonna start adding chicken broth, ladle by ladle at a time, until it's all completely absorbed. Okay, now that that wine is completely absorbed into the rice, we're gonna start ladling in the stock. If you can start ladling in the stock. Okay. It's gonna do the same thing. Just get this rice nice and tender. Let me know when. Yeah, I'd say a couple more ladles. Okay. One. Uh -oh. We've got about five cups of stock here. I always make more than I need. That way, you have it. You can just leave that there because okay. it's like with rice, you never know. Sometimes it just gets, you need usually two to one ratio with uh, water to rice, but sometimes with uh, risotto, you just, you just kind of want to let it all absorb and get that flavor in there and you want it to be nice and soft. So we're just gonna keep adding it until we get the consistency we want. Okay, now the rice is getting to that consistency you almost want. There's still quite a bit of moisture in there, but we're gonna start seasoning it up. We haven't added any salt and pepper at all yet. And now we're gonna do a little salt and pepper. You can add anything you want in here. Garlic, uh, some thyme, rosemary would be nice, but we're gonna make these arancini balls. So we're just gonna keep it simple for right now. Salt first? Yes, ma'am. Let me know when, honey. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna sprinkle mix that it up real there. good, okay. And you gotta keep That's stirring good. this. You gotta keep stirring. You know, just constantly mix it. Feel like sir, mix a lot. <laughs> Woo! You got it right where you want it. <laughs> Is what risotto should look like but right now what we're going to do next is we are going to transfer it to another baking dish so we can cool it off in the refrigerator we want it to get to about a cool temperature where you can melt it with your hands honey could you give me the dip? thank you yes so you can form it into balls because what we're going to do is we're going to form these into balls and then we're going to deep fry them mm. oh yeah wow. <laughs> all right next we are going to make our Pesto sauce. So this is, we've got spinach, parmesan, walnuts. I like to use walnuts instead of pine nuts. We got basil, 
from the garden, some garlic, a lemon, and I forgot this, the Calabrian chilies. Ooh. Spice it up a notch. Yes. Okay. So we are going to start adding everything in here into the food processor. Mm -hmm. Don't make a mess like that's I'm making a mess. That's the spinach. Spinach. And that's about a... It's about a cup and a half of spinach. A cup and a half of spinach. And, and then about three quarters cup of basil. Okay. Half a cup of parmesan. Parmesan. Yes. And uh, half a cup of walnuts. Okay, and now the garlic. Do you want to add the garlic now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our hands are going to be a little stinky after this garlic. But it adds so stinky. much flavor. You open this while I chop and juice this lime. Okay, if I can. Lime. Uh -oh. Oh, she got oh, I got it. it. Uh oh. Okay. That's now, that Wonder I get Woman strength. Wonder mm -hmm. Woman strength. Getting some lemon in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Juicy, juicy lemon. Forearm workouts. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, how many of these? I would just put two of them in there. These can be spicy, but they're sweet at the same time. This is going to really kick it up a notch. So, put some hair on your chest. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, There's not everybody women. wants that. But. <laughs> Let me look. I gotta figure out how to use this food processor first. <laughs> uh oh. It beat me. Alright, I got it on after I struggled for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Completely embarrassing. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to mix this up. Mix it to the side, and then we're going to start drizzling our olive oil on there. Honey, if you could put a little salt and pepper in there. That's what you want your pesto. That's how I like mine to look. It's got that creamy texture, very green. You see that red, those red chilies in there. It just kicks it up a notch, baby, a notch. Ooh. And we're making the arancini balls. This is how we're gonna fry them up. Just gonna take a spoonful, form it in their hand, make a little cup in the center. And that's it. Right there, you go. Good job. All right. It's gonna be something like a goddamn coach. Mozzarella ball. Yep, mozzarella ball. This is mozzarella sitting in the in the water. Put a little bit more on top. Okay. 
The rice has been sitting in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half now. It's all cooled down. So now we're, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dip it in some egg. Let it sit in the egg wash, roll it around for a second. And over here we've got some panko breading with seasoned salt, pepper, and garlic. Simple seasoning. And we're just going to roll it around in there. And she's going to make a couple more of these. She's going to hand them to me. we got our oil sitting at 325 degrees. You don't want it too hot. Always use a thermometer when you're frying something because you need to know what your temperature of your oil is. And here we go. Let it go in there. Okay, we got these arancini bowls frying up. Now you see how they get golden brown mm. on the outside like this. So you're just going to flip them. Let them sit there a little bit longer on each side. And that cheese inside is melting. And that mm. rice. Everything is just going to be gooey. Wow, that's so pretty. Very, very pretty. So we're wow. just going to let that go for a little bit longer, baby. Woo! Okay, everybody, now the arancini are finally done. And this is what you're looking for. Look at this GBD, golden brown and delicious. <laughs> Cut into one and see how it looks. Oh. Oh. Cheese didn't quite melt all the way, but... Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, very delicious. Dip it in some of that sauce. Mmm. Mmm. And then with oh, the yeah. sauce, is so good. No, the basil, the lemon, mm -hmm. the pepper. Mm -hmm. ridiculous. I'm mm. 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 Very delicious. All right, everybody. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye.